told to love myself hi everybody and welcome back to my channel it is now 10 30 saturday morning i haven't had a wink of sleep i've been up since 11 p.m last night watching the two matches france beating uruguay and Belgium beating Brazil and what a match that was. I wasn't happy with Brazil's performance whatsoever and Neymar, I have to say, is probably his own worst enemy. The big guns have really fallen this World Cup 2018 in Russia and I really thought that Brazil would advance to the semi-finals. Obviously my predictions were very wrong. My only hope now is for England to go through tonight. They play Sweden. I'm not a big fan of Sweden, so I want England to win. And I'm very ambivalent between Croatia and Russia, to be quite honest. I couldn't care less between those two countries because I don't particularly like them at all. Let's get back to Brazil because Brazil has been a sore point with me this, this World Cup. If one image defines Brazil at this World Cup, It'd have to be their star striker, Neymar. Now, Neymar crying out in pain while demanding action from the referee has been so over the top this, this World Cup. The Paris Saint-Germain striker's theatrics has been widely condemned uh, by former players and football fans during these past three weeks in Russia. I mean, what's Neymar all about? All of this diving, all of this grabbing of the ankle, all of this like, I'm so injured, and then within 10 minutes, he's, not even 10 minutes, he's up and on his feet. Neymar is hardly the first footballer to be accused of diving, and well, he certainly won't be the last. But the fact that Neymar is rolling on the ground, uh, seemingly in agony, um, is the main takeaway from this World Cup. The problem is he's been diving so much throughout this tournament. Um, is this the boy that cried wolf? I mean, he's his own worst enemy. Our former Socceroo captain, Craig Foster, um, told from one of our programs, SBS, after Brazil's 2-1 loss to Belgium this morning, and that's exactly what happened. He's killed himself the way he's carried on throughout this tournament. He's ended up killing his team. The World Cup was all about redemption for Brazil. After the humiliating 7-1 loss to Germany in the semi-finals four years ago when Brazil hosted the World Cup, it was about restoring pride. And when Germany was knocked out in the group stage and Brazil became, then Brazil became favourites, it seemed like it just might happen. Uh, but Brazil failed to impress in Russia after being knocked out in the quarterfinals on today, being Saturday, in its defeat to Belgium. Just like four years ago, Brazil sailed through the group stage without really impressing. And even a 2-0 win against Mexico didn't show a team that it was a World Cup winner. And now it's 16 years since Brazil has last won the World Cup. But compared to England, it doesn't seem like a very long time, given that England hasn't won a World Cup since 1966. But for a Brazilian team that dominated in the 90s and the early 2000s, it seems like a lifetime. Um, in reality, it's been years since Brazil has been the, the Brazil that we've known to love and respect. The one that comes to a World Cup with skills and a bit of arrogance and sweeps the world off its feet. Uh, the Brazilian term, Yog, I don't know if I'm saying it right, the Brazilian term Yogo Bonito, which means the beautiful game, or in many ways, um, the Brazilian way to play is long dead. Brazil can no longer think that a squad with silky skills can just, you know, beat all the corners. Um, the struggle against Germany in 2014 proved that. Neymar will become public enemy number one 
for football fans after his field antics in Russia. But the bigger debate will be how Brazil returns to its former glory. It's the debate the country was forced to have four years ago, but it found itself in the same position after the World Cup failure. It's been the World Cup of seeing traditional big guns fall from the wayside. Portugal, Spain, um, Uruguay, uh, Switzerland, Germany are all out. How countries like Argentina, Germany and Brazil respond will determine if Russia was just a blip on the radar or the start of a new world order of football. Well, tonight at 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in Australia, England will be playing. There is no doubt in my mind that England has a real chance to move forward to the semi-finals. I don't want to jinx it. My heart is with England. I have no affinity or affiliation with Sweden. Couldn't care less about the Scandinavian countries. England is for me. Let's do it, England. This is for the mother country. Here we go, here we go, here we go. That's all for today, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this little short vlog, this cold, wintry Saturday morning. And if you did, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, give it a thumbs up, and I shall be seeing you shortly. Bye for now.